Hi all, welcome to another Chess24 Banter Blitz. Okay, uh, just waiting for this preview. We're a bit earlier than usual actually, a couple of minutes earlier than usual. I'll take the opportunity to show you this amazing voucher code, Kings Plural Crusher. You get a 15% off. Uh, so premium membership, you can challenge me or other streamers you just turn up like 15 minutes before, send your challenge, it goes on our challenge list. And there's even the world champion now to challenge. So what an amazing time for Chess24 uh, to join as a premium member, challenge loads of different grandmasters, etc. Okay, uh, let's go back to the challenge screen and take the first challenge today. Manuel for shorts. Hi there. Hope audio and visual is okay. Let me know if it if there's something up. It looks okay on my preview. Okay, so uh hi Manuel. Uh it's a bit earlier than uh, I'll wait a bit maybe a little bit more. Or should I start the ten second count? Okay. Knight F six start off with. I think King's Engine territory to start off with. I could play something else if you want, just let me know. <laughs> Slav, whatever. I King's Engine I thought was a bit of fun. That's why I'm I'm choosing a King's Engine in this first game. And uh So this classic move D6. Fisher once didn't play d6, he let e5 have him and won brilliantly. Uh, he got the knight back and undermined the center. It's not totally essential every time to play d6. Three minutes is good, Ash, if you want to challenge on three minute. Um, okay. Ah. Uh, I can see the transcriptions, <laughs> which are quite funny for some reason. I don't know what I've done. I'm seeing transcriptions now on my preview screen. Oh dear! <laughs> I better not look not look too much. <laughs> They'll get there one day. Oh dear. <laughs> Knight c5. This looks like a comfortable position. I'm going to open up this diagonal. Knight c5. It looks as uncomfortable in the dark squares here. c5 and e5. Uh, so uh, if I do this, no, then there's bishop takes. I'll, I'll, that'll be losing. So let's do this instead. Knight c5. Yeah, let's keep an eye on this. It's got an eye on h5. My target is e4. Surely, so I'm going to put pressure on e4. Mind you, I've then I've collected f7 here a bit, so this could backfire on f7 if I'm not careful. I'll still put some pressure, I'm protecting f7 now. Is there, um is there an idea of bishop g4 or something? Uh, that's a comfortable square for the knight. Can I not play knight takes e4 though? That has neglected e4. Can I not play this? I'm hoping I'm, I can play this anyway. I remember playing against Neil McDonald in some rapid chess game. He crushed me with this, just putting pressure on e4 in the King's Engine. I think he later switched away from um, um, when he played the Dutch as well. Okay, he plays the Dutch as well. Um, I think he plays more solidly now. I think that's my point. Okay, more solid openings rather. So anyway, knight takes d3, and then what about like bishop f5? Is it possible to play bishop f5? Or am I, I'm going into this kind of 
self pin scenario. I think I have to watch out here. This might not be entirely clever. I can nick another pawn, which I'm going to do because I don't know what else to do. I'm going to take that pawn. All right, now definitely this is looking dodgy. Uh, well, dodgy. Is there Queen H4 here? Because E1, G3 though. Uh, okay. Uh, bear that in mind. Somehow. <laughs> or there's Queen F6. Takes, takes, take. Queen F6 is not really sufficient. I think I'm in a bit of trouble here. Bishop G7 for Knight C5. I'm wondering if Knight C5 could be my saving resource. Because this, this is looks. Am I just losing a piece there? If I play Queen H4, there's G3. Knight takes G3. Mm, try this. Mm. It's G three, isn't there? Is that? Or is that knight takes G three? Hitting the queen. Maybe maybe I've got knight takes G three. Can I try and calculate this? G3, knight takes G3. HG. I've also got that. Alright, I can double, I can attack the queen. Or I could take the bishop. Why don't I just take this guy? Okay, it's all interesting. I'll, I'll take this guy. Maybe, maybe knight C5. This is not very convincing. It's calculations. Whatever's going on here, I don't know. Knight c5. So I'm double attacking the queen. There's the potential for bishop d4. Actually, I, I do want time for rook takes a8. If I take this queen off and then take her. Can I take that? Oh, it seems okay. Whatever happened there, I think there might have been something for white. It looked dodgy, this pin, self pin, well dodgy. I think this uh, thing, I think. Knight takes a4. Or bishop d7. Bishop takes a4. And back to d7. Then a4. Or bishop b3. Hang on. Oh, you can take here. Yeah. yeah. I've given him back some material there. Now he can take that and take that. Which he does. Oh dear. <laughs> I can put my bishop on B2 though and play A3. Right, thanks for the game. Yeah, that was, I think, uh, I think I was in trouble, but just to verify that. I think I was in trouble there. After rook a2. Oh, it says black is winning. Did I miss queen h4 here? So if g3, knight takes. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, no, this, this is okay because I think I play rook takes e1 check first. 
so I think I did actually miss uh, Queen H4 here now when I played it uh, here okay it's important to play this here now on G3 it's an improvement for white but it's okay for black apparently black's actually slightly better even though okay okay interesting Duke Crusher. Okay, let's play maybe English opening. It looks as though I want to play d4, h3, maybe stop the use of this, g4 square. Right, try and stretch out over here with e4 and f4 now. Although I am giving that nice measure on a7 to my opponent. Wondering if I can neutralize this somehow. Um, if I played e4 and then f4, is that really double edged? Can the opponent really exploit that? This diagonal thing f4 here or take? Maybe I just want to take, just have this knight here for a moment. And somehow neutralize the bishop on a7. Okay, that's quicker than I expected to neutralize that bishop. I wouldn't have thought it takes the pawn, although maybe it's possible. Uh, I guess there's knight, <coughs> knight f6. Is this a big problem? I'm not getting much apart from control of this diagonal, but even that there's h3 to hit maybe. Well, there's bishop h7 winning the rook. Yeah, this is a tactic. Bishop h7 winning the rook and checkmate. Oh dear, there's a bit of a disaster. Queen g5. Yeah, a bit of a disaster move. All right. Thanks to the game. Uh, yeah, you got to watch out for the, the forcing moves. The checks, the top priority checks are the ones most vital to calculate. Even in, even in a bullet game, even in a 30 second for all moves game, the, if you can calculate the checks, just instant, near instantly, I try and do that. I, and as many moves as possible, all the forcing moves, as many moves as possible, even whatever time control, it's, it's kind of vital. I find so the forcing moves you can look at quite a few moves in advance when they're absolutely like forcing. Um, now, knight g4, hang on, knight g4. Do I do something about knight g4 here, like h3? I could play h3. There's a bit of an attack going on here, isn't there? What happens here? Is there like... I don't know if it attack for both sides. Bishop d6. Okay, I get this form pawn. If I play this, I can play knight f4, knight g3 later. But I, with this move, I can't get onto the light squares. So maybe, maybe it was uh, better to be. I'm going to go on a light square. Well, there's knight e5. 
Okay, do I play Knight G3? Oh, that's confusing. Knight G3. Well, I'm thinking like this diagonal, this diagonal. If I have to sacrifice a pawn, okay, I'll do it for this diagonal with the form pawn there. I'm wondering about a bishop f3 being dangerous. Okay, my opponent's kind of sidestepped that until here. Queen f3. So this diagonal looks dangerous because of the form pawn. So there might actually be c4 as a threat here. Try and blast through this diagonal. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that that is annoying. I could double the pawns. Okay, I'll cash out. Ah, oh, spool sport, spool sport. Queen's off. Okay, but I don't know what to do because my d pawn was vulnerable. <laughs> I'll stop knight a five. I believe it doesn't seem great. Actually, my opponent's got long more time as well now. Okay. Oh, there is one thing about this: the f five square seems to have come to life. Can I use that here? Or is it too dangerous? There's e4, maybe there's knight d4. I might be threatening b5 for knight takes e7. Uh, is b5 useful here or g4? Maybe, I don't know if that's too weak. And if I put my king on e4 in this endgame, would it be checkmated there? It can hit c3. They can hit c3. Uh, okay, they can do that. What about knight h6? Is that annoying? Because that f7 taking out a rook. If rook f8, rook d1, control is foul. Why can I not just nick this pawn and come back to e4? Knight g5 to e4. That would be a nice blockading square for this bishop. So if I go here to e4, so e4, it actually also protects c3, so that's not really a big issue now. e4. Okay, I'll get this simplification. There'll be rook f8 potentially mating sometimes. Oh, well, there's knight and rook and stuff, but in theory. Uh, okay, I'll just stop the um, use of h4. There's rook f3, that holds c3. This also supports h4, h5 to drive the knight from f8. So if I double the rooks, I can play for h4, h5, and rook f8. All right, I'll play h4 here. Now, rook g3, maybe. What? No, no, that was a mistake because f8 is covered by the knight. There's work to do here. Might have thought I had rook f8, it's not the case. Okay, but thanks for the game. Um, okay, cat weasel. Yes, the form pawn won there, in f potentially, but not, not actually in that position. It didn't need to be that like that. So this is the Fromm's Gambit. Am I remembering it correctly? I I was checking this out once uh, or twice, theoretically. There's some interesting games in this line. Hmm. Right. I think rook h two here is interesting. Oh, we've we've had this before. Maybe easier is just 
Rookie eight and Queen E three after. Because uh, if White's getting that piece after, I think this is dangerous. So why don't I just do this? The easier method. Or it might be the case that this is better than playing this immediately. It might be the case. Uh, so I keep that sort of pin. So when I play ta takes here, takes, 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 I have E3 after. So let's say Knight BD2, Rook takes H2, Rook takes, Bishop takes, King moves, Bishop takes, takes, Queen takes. I should be okay there. I'm not sure this was the correct move in the position. I've seen this position before. Uh, and white's supposed to end up being significantly better. Uh, there was there's a guy um, on my correspondence site, uh, Chesswell, who uh, kind of told me a lot about this system. Uh, in case you're wondering, um, but um, okay, now here actually it doesn't seem that bad for white. Yeah, maybe maybe this isn't that bad at all. For white, actually, maybe I've I've misassessed this. Oh, if he gave me this F file, I think my rook. Are my rooks dangerous? They might be. I mean, I hope they're dangerous. This check and then a rookie two check. So interesting. At the moment, white's still a pawn up. Do I have enough compensation? If takes takes knight d2, then check would seem dangerous if the king moves rookie two check. Okay, so this gives me back a pawn at least. So should I be worried about this position? There's no rookie one, is there yet? Because takes, if takes, bishop takes. Otherwise, h2 is neglected. Okay, so can I sort out anything here? With King D seven or Rookie four. So I'm offering that bishop. Well, this is that tactic again. Bishop takes G three is possible. Not rook takes, because takes there's rook f two, but bishop takes G three would seem just to exploit that pin. Still covering E five as well. So I think my bishop can just go back to d6 and then f4 and then f3. Okay, king e6 here. So bishop d6. Okay, thanks. Yeah, that's very theoretical position. Uh, by the way, uh, I think white ends up better, and I'm shooting myself in the foot if we ever if we play this line again, but. This isn't right, is it, Bishop E3? It's Knight D2 according to this computer here. Knight D2, and White would be slightly better. So Bishop E3. Mind you, here this is a mistake apparently. Bishop D7. Okay, so what's going on here? Knight D2 now, and White's winning. It's giving White as winning actually. This is very dodgy for Black now. Yeah. This can be really dodgy because of this extra pawn. The center is massive, so that makes the whole system worth playing. I'm not sure I should be playing this from Gambit without knowing it fully. I think it was a game of Peter Large once. I was watching him play the Fromm's Gambit, and I took it up. I don't. I didn't really exhaust all the. Um, and then I researched it again for this Black Chroman guy. But then I, I was. He was getting good positions with White near winning positions with white. I think I have to avoid playing the gambit like that. So Gorgi and Paul. Uh, uh, okay, one elephant, two elephants, elephants, three elephants, four elephants, five elephants, <clears throat> six elephants, Seven elephants, eight elephants, nine elephants. Okay, well, I think we have to go to the next challenge.
always blame the mouse. Okay, I often do. Uh, let's try E4 for a bit of variety. Uh, Smith Mora. Opportunity. So Moxie Bind. So if I castle and then F three and then Bishop E three or maybe get my things out the firing line. I guess you can play ninety five taking on D three. Right, it's not the most amazing bishop. I've got the option now of uh, bishop c2. So I want to play, I think, bishop e3 or bishop b2. Maybe bishop b2. Uh, there's knight b4 as well, though. What, what about this? Just to challenge this bishop, maybe try and get rid of it. Uh, a3 and then knight d5. Oh, that gives me uh, this backward pawn to play with. Okay, that's that's very interesting. So there's a possibility now of um, f4 and taking out this bishop, but I think I'd want my queen on a dark square to celebrate this diagonal. So if if I um, well, what if I I took this? Okay, I can take this and dent. The structure and play f4 to deprive e5 and threaten f5. But my opponent could play bishop c6 here. Okay. Oh, this is getting interesting now. There's another target on f5 potentially. He's not really leaving that knight on d. He is. He's leaving that knight on d5. Um, that's a bit surprising to me because that could be a monster knight. I can immediately threaten knight e7. Check. But this e file seems quite tasty. There's an entry point on e6, uh, but I can just double on the e file. The knight versus bishop with the double pawns seems favourable. Rook b e1. It just seems uh, nice. Or knight to so the immediate threat is knight e7, but rook b e1, and then queen e6. Well, there's still knight e7 winning the exchange here. I think I will take the exchange. I'm not sure it's worth the the exchange. Try and blockade this because that's going to liberate the bishop. What I could do is take the file first and then queen d3 to avoid losing control of the file with rook e8. So I'll try and take control of the file first without dropping g3 though. Oh, chess is tricky. Okay. I don't want to drop g3. I want to take the file. No, I'm not taking the file. Okay, this is all. Ah, uh, it's all rather silly what I've just done. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't want to mess up too much. Oh, queen a2 seems awkward. But otherwise, there's rook e3. Oh, this is just awkward. Ah, try and contest the file. Protecting c4 now. This is awkward. And he's opening up the bishop. Uh, I can't allow two connected past pawns. And the bishop's being opened up now. And there's also rook e2. This, uh, this is looking... Pretty dangerous. I'm being crushed, am I? Oh, blimey. 
How do I get out of this? <laughs> ah. Can I, okay, stop rookie two, maybe stop rookie two. Ah, oh, I don't know, I think I've lost the plot here. There's two connected pass pawns. I've lost the plot. That may be a let off. G4. I thought he'd just take and get the two connected gigantic pass pawns. Oh, there might be F5 or something. Rook takes and then F5. Okay, H5. Rook takes takes her. Yeah, he had this opportunity, it seemed to me, to have two gigantic connected pass pawns. Uh, okay, at least I'm taking them out. Unless Rook C2 is winning. Can I take these guys out? Interrupt here. Yeah. I just did a video earlier on interruption. <laughs> I definitely need some interruptions here of key squares. <laughs> the interruption tactic. Uh, well, I, I can just take on d6 immediately, can't I? Get behind him that. Find that pass pawn. <clears throat> oh, I feel let off totally with this queen b7 check. Maybe didn't expect king h3. Um, again, rook on the seventh. And I think I'll take this guy out. Go with this, threatening mating stuff. Rooks on the seventh. Right, I can get the rook off, can't I? And play for this. Yeah, it was a crushing position for. I was getting crushed. Uh, I'm pretty sure this all went wrong on one horrible slip up where I, I, I wanted to control the file but without dropping F4 and I noticed rookie 8 E4. Okay, what did I notice here? No, no, there's Queen. Uh, All oh, right, Queen C2. Did I go into a major panic here? Queen C2 would stop D3. I'm still okay there, but this is pushing my position. Now black is winning with D3, and it was totally crushing. Queen B7 is given. Something I'm missing here. Rook takes. Oh. Oh right, this is pretty dangerous. This this is pretty dangerous. You can still get the two connected past pawns. That's 
the way to do it still keep the, the two connected past pawns so something went wrong here this I'm back in the game after that so just taking on e1 forcing me to recapture and then playing h5 yeah this is total disaster uh, if, if that had happened I think I'm back in oh, black still winning here D that's a lot of winning opportunities d2 so if I took check my king's pretty exposed there's a mate in three check <laughs> oh, okay it gets nasty yeah that could have been a real horror story so near miss hi Carlos King's Gambit let's go crazy King's Gambit the romantic era of chess <sighs> okay so h4 and I'm hoping that something will turn up um, Oh, I thought he'd play h6 for knight takes f7. There's still uh, f6, I guess. Yes, there's f6. Mind you, there's, I think there might be d5 now here. If f6, there's knight e6 there's now queen d4 looking at h8 as well uh let's say knight e5 bishop takes e5 or queen d2 queen d2 maybe uh with the idea of f6 knight e6 now is possible So if I can castle queenside, there's cause for celebration for the F file potentially. So King B one and uh and see Bishop E two and Rook to F one. Alright, there is I can eye the queen side here with uh and get closer to the monitor. <laughs> All right, queen, queen d4, queen d4. Is that any good? Queen d4. So on a7, king b8, bishop e3, b6. I'm playing bishop e3 for a moment. Why don't I just take on? No, no. It's got things on e5 protected. This is okay. I want to create some light square weaknesses. So creating some light square weaknesses uh, with b6. Uh, so let's see, uh, b6, rook, a, f1, h, f1, or a4, a5, a, b, if this b6 occurs. Or maybe this plan and, and this plan is okay. Rook, h, f1, a4, a5, a, b, a, b. Playing, playing like this a4 a5 a b a b or c b queen b4 bishop takes b6 basically undermining this little pawn chain around the king so a5 queen b4 okay I soften these light squares. Can I do this? What about actually B4? Isn't that a way of undermining again B4 is also possible. B4. B4. 
B4 might be the way forward. Okay, he's giving himself knight g4. My knight, my bishop can go back to g1. Okay, now here they're a5. Try undermine this pawn chain again. I'm gonna actually have it more central here on d4. Okay, wins a pawn, but I've got a5 upcoming. A5. So a5, I'm hoping is starting to be dangerous. A5. A5, A, B, C, B. This A file, King, B2, Rook, A1. So King, B2, Rook, A1. Okay, that's annoying. Isn't that queen? Actually, isn't that queen takes d6? But with this, there's rook a8 check, rook a7. So, but if I don't take now, uh, I'm on f8. If now that he's moved that away from that, he's neglected f8. There's no queen c7, which means bishop takes e5 is possible. Okay, yeah, uh, interesting. Thanks for the game, Carlos. King's Gambit there. Just for a bit of spice on the opening front. Ash. Okay. Ash. Hi there. Hmm, what can I do? Um, you know what, Nimzo engine. Just have a go with the Nimzo engine. Or whatever, I'll transpose it to Benoni. Because I've seen a Kasparov annotation in one of his Kasparov books where against Korshnoi he talked about this this line you can avoid some of the sharper lines of the Benoni if they play like this. So it sometimes makes sense for that Benoni transposition to activate it. Benoni structure. But in general this is a bit dodgy Benoni. Oh, knight takes d5. Come on, knight takes d5. Missed that. I've still got it here. Second go, and knight takes d5. So knight takes and then d5 after. Okay, knight b4 here. Oh, there's interesting things like bishop g4. I don't know if that's f3. There's bishop d4 check. Let's go with this. Now, okay, he's got the pawn back. I'm just thinking with this move that my dark square play is quite good. I'll take queen takes. The dark square grip is is okay. Mm. <sighs> okay. Rookie six. All right, what's happening with this uh, knight? Not really going to self pen, is he? 
Well, in fact, I just take that knight off. What's happening here? E5. There's rook b8. All right, knight d6. There's bishop takes e5. Well, there's queen takes h6. And I can take the knight after. What's happening with this? Knight d6, bishop takes e5, knight e4. Don't know, I just put the bishop back on g7 or something. Um. Well, there is a route back. Okay. Two pieces. I'll take the two pieces there because that weakens the light squares. Capitalize on the light squares. There's a great quotation. I've seen this film on uh, recently, chess film. Apparently, there's a new series called Queen's Gamut. I was checking out uh, doing a search and I saw Queen of Catwe. Let's play Bishop H3. And there's a great quotation I thought in there in the film Queen of Catwe, which stood out for me. Uh, he said she lost. She, it showed this game. She lost on the light squares, and the coach said, "You know, you let your lights. You, you know, you had light square weaknesses around your king, and the opponent capitalized on those weaknesses, and it stood out for me in the whole film, the Queen of Catwe, because uh, a lot of my chess at the moment, I I am trying to sort of." look more profoundly at the opponent's downside. So it stood out for me that quotation uh, that in a way chess is about finding the weaknesses of your opponent's possession and capitalizing on the weaknesses at a really abstract level. That's not uh, that's not Magnus Colson and he's, he's not a premium member. I have to decline that uh, I'm afraid. Okay so Shelling Ford the great Shelling Ford Results of the King's Engine, I think, have been okay in general. I'll give it a Can I do this? Right, so I wonder if B six and Bishop B seven just come for a moment. Take it here. Bit of a hedgehoggy position. Take it here. Fincher to my queen. So B four is kind of imminent. Uh, let's prepare for that. The C four is going to be slightly weaker. H five H four is also tempting. Form pawn attack. Is B five viable here? Mm. B five might be interesting tactically. A takes A takes C takes A takes E four or A takes. Yeah, I think B five. I'm hoping this is okay. Try and exploit a few things in the possession. 
this rook against the queen, the queen against the king. Okay, there's another queen takes knight. If I play knight takes e4, queen takes knight. I play knight takes e4 here. Rook takes. There's knight takes d5. I have to maybe unfortunately I have to calculate this. Uh, knight takes. Maybe he plays knight takes here, takes here, takes here, takes here, takes the takes here. No, no. Yeah, maybe. Um. Knight takes, rook takes, <laughs> knight takes, bishop takes, though, king takes, queen takes, there's always a check to get out of the pin with queen b2 check. Uh, is there anything, okay. Um, uh, given I've calculated a bit, I'll go with it. Right here. Oh, there's knight takes e7. No, there isn't. It's pinned. Right. This is a better version of events than I imagine. Cause I'm threatening queen takes b5 and e6. Both the rook and both of the two liabilities I mentioned still seem liabilities. They haven't disappeared into the mist just yet. So I'm threatening if the king moves, knight takes, and then queen takes. Uh, well, there's a check. No, there isn't. The bishop's still on the board. Okay. Isn't there queen takes? With that pin? Queen takes? Ah, oh, work it out. Okay. Um... There's rook e8, there's queen takes here to avoid. Okay. It's queen takes. Not rook takes. Oh, there's also knight takes anyway. And this, and this is something weird with knight takes. Oh, now there's knight takes. Is there? We can take here. Uh -huh. What about just Queen B seven? Well I don't need to give up the exchange, hang on. Queen B seven Do do I need did I need to give up the exchange? Now I'm thinking maybe I should have investigated that. Oh I don't know. Knight, this is a quick look. Knight takes, pawn takes. This is just theoretical interest. Rook takes, rook takes, knight c3. Okay. I can keep this pin here, can't I? For a moment. Maybe, maybe ah, just, just this one. Just, just try and keep things simple. Just try and keep things simple. I just to eliminate this knight. I just need to eliminate this knight. This knight's like uh, a strong knight. I, I just want to eliminate it as the priority without having to give up the exchange. I, th I think that's it. Right. Can I take this file? Can I get the queens off? Can I do this? I don't want to give him two dangerous past pawns. 
on the other hand, okay, I can do that to stop the imminent two connected pass pawns. Slow them down. Rook B2. Oh no. Okay. Oh, he's got a bit of play here. There's rook there isn't rook B seven. Um can deflect this rook. If rook takes, rook takes, rook takes, rook takes. Okay. 21 seconds. Oh, it's pre move like crazy time, I think. Mm -mm. Yeah, there's a lot of. I couldn't extinguish all the counterplay after. To be fair, it's very difficult in a blitz game to control counterplay after winning materials sometimes. So, fair enough. Ah, and I'm not crying. It's just that my 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 monitor usage has gone up recently, and I seem to be having dry eyes. I'm just going to spray myself. If I can get anything out of this bottle, <laughs> which I can't, I need to reorder it. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thanks. So this is Actimist, and um, I've run out. Apparently, uh, it's right at the bottom of it. Ah, okay. Right, so this is playing with the isolated queen's pawn. So one must assume end games are going to be Diabolical usually with the Ice Lake Queen's Pawn, as Capablanca has shown many times. Uh, so the middle game, though, thankfully there's the middle game before the end game. Okay, D5 here. Spectra, isn't that from uh, James Bond? I've been watching the James Bond films uh, recently. They're really cool. I I I really do like them. Uh, um, D takes or knight d4, knight d4. Actually, there's isn't. Oh no 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 no. No, 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 no. I was thinking there was something to do with the e file, Queen H8, trying to stop um, 
this. Mm. Right, I think knight f5 takes knight d5, four king, queen, and king. So knight f5 is a cheeky one. Uh, unless I get eliminated in the meantime with my opponent's tactics. Uh, actually, knight f5. He's, he would be. Who would have been attacking my queen? He's pointed that out actually to me. My queen. Now I've just worked out that knight f5 is not all that because he'll be attacking my queen. So h2 is a, a concern now. But let's just take this off so that knight d5 is threatened. Knight d5. <clears throat> there's queen c6 threatens mate maybe bishop e4 okay there's a knight d5 check here and then maybe queen takes g5 at minimum king d8 there's queen takes f6 anyway so two rooks are hanging queen's hanging uh, it looks good, I think. All right, thanks for the game. Uh, is that something to do with James Bond? Okay, uh, that is. That looks like there was a beach scene in one of the James Bonds. Okay. Uh, challenges. Goggin Paul, three minutes. <sighs> okay, going in. Uh, I hope you're there. One elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four elephants, five elephants, six elephants, seven elephants, eight, nine. Goggin, what's happening to you? Is it, I'm playing black, right? I, I'm, <laughs> okay, what's happening to Goggin today? Okay, I'm gonna have to abort. Okay, Friedel. Hi there. Shall I try Nimzo? Just for a bit of variety. Oh no, it's it's. I have to go into anti-London system mode. Anti London system mode. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> this isn't so bad for white, this position, unfortunately. Can I play e5 immediately? Because he's going to play this. I would like to put pressure on this uh, e5. The way he's playing this f and g4 seems a bit not totally in the solid spirit of the London system. Is there something like Queen A five, Bishop A four on the cards? Ah, now Knight D three is also a fascinating thing to look at. I think to open up the C file with the King there. Yeah, I think this is more justified with the King on Queen side. So something like uh, here. Is looking dangerous for bishop takes c3 immediately. Okay, I can take one a2 though. Mm. 
Now that is a blockade for sure, and it yeah blunts the bishop for sure. But what's going on over here? Uh, so something like bishop a4 or a6, bishop b5, is that handy? Or just queen a5, or just b5, b4? Maybe b5, b4. Try and blast through with the pawns first. Okay, there is a check. And then b4. I just want to extricate, extricate, is that the right word? My queen before it gets trapped. Okay, and let's try and get the last. Okay, I gotta get let's get the last drop out of this. No, no, nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing. Okay, okay. Uh, rook, rook c4, rook c4, rook c4, and then uh, and then double the rooks. <laughs> rook b8, bishop takes d4. All right, now. This looks suspect. We're at rook takes d4 or queen a4. In fact, queen a4. There must be something here. Rook takes d4, queen a4. I'll go with maybe queen a4. Now rook takes b3, surely. Rook takes b3 is two pieces. And any queen d5, there's rook c1 check, winning the queen on d5. All right, the queen takes c4 here. Bishop b5 to d3. <clears throat> Too much monitor usage. Okay. Bishop B five or D four D four. Hit the rook. Bishop e4, d3, bishop e5. Well, actually, he's not threatening that, so bishop here, because there's bishop e4 tactically. So, bishop b4 coming up. There's queen d1 here. Does that do anything? Queen d1. What if I just... Okay, queen queen d1 is, is probably interesting. Uh, if I took the queen off... Uh, Right, do I need to uh, think too much here? Right, there's still Bishop E4 lurking around. What about if I introduce Bishop D5? Is that useful? Bishop D5. Bishop d5. Hmm. So rook takes this bishop e4. Haven't I got bishop d5 coming up? Queen c3, okay. Here. Queen 
So again, looks dangerous. Bishop b4 cuts king's escape squares. Oh, surely this is too much. Queen a2, bishop a3, surely. Yeah, I think bishop a3 coming in uh, is dangerous. Amazing. Thanks. Yeah, that was uh, that was interesting. Okay, Olaf. Um, right. Am I trying for a Nims of Indian again? Maybe. Oh. <laughs> No, it's not another London system. Okay, anti-London system mode, as if he's playing a London system with a quirky knight a3. Although this does seem extremely weird territory now with that knight a3 to c2. interfering with his own peace development I'm just wondering if this is fun knight takes d4 or queen takes d4 because the peace development seems you know if I'm getting back my pawn castling queen side I didn't want to allow queen a4 chat there because that I know then I'm on the back foot he could castle queen side etc I mean, you can still castle queen side, I guess. No, you can't. I can castle and threaten mate. There's knight f3. I can play this in bishop b4. Why don't I just play this and bishop b4? Somehow this doesn't seem right to me for white. Uh, given I've got the big idea of bishop b4 check, I'm not too concerned about my doubled pawns here. My peace play has gone to astronomical proportions, uh, along with king safety issues. So I think, yeah, <laughs> okay. So um, if I castle queenside, there is knight f3, which seems annoying, as in not immediately mating my opponent. Uh, <laughs> I'm fine. Okay, so if I castle queenside, uh, knight f3, yeah. Okay, he's not immediately getting mated, but there is queen e4 for knight d4. And then there might be later queen e3 for knight c2. So I'm, I'm going to do this. Okay. So queen e4. Is uh, unless there's some amazing queen sack. I, I'll, I'll go with the same, uh, same move relatively same queen e4. For knight d4. Or there's knight b4 even a b bishop takes b4 is nasty knight b4 doesn't immediately perhaps threaten anything. This actually threatens bishop a5. With the queen there, there's no b4 with the queen there. So bishop a5 is now on the cards. Right. Okay, so bishop c7 then. I 
and it looks as though um am I letting my pen off the hook huh? <sighs> At least pin, try and pin this knight with bishop e6. It's a bit poxy compared to the other ambitions, but it's, I don't know, something. Bishop e6. This bishop actually wasn't doing much on that diagonal, come to think about it. So knight b6 to win the queen. Uh huh. Um. F5 then. Check the queen. H6 and g5. G five G four. Mm. There's rook takes D two here. Yeah. Knight takes Queen takes. Is that Bishop F three or something? Um, I can do some sort of Queen sack there. Bishop Queen takes F three. Was there anything stronger? No, just keep the pin of Queen H four. There's G three. Um. G three. Hang on. Isn't there Bishop takes H two check here for Queen H four to avoid this G three business? I'm still going into this knight b6 to win h4, potentially. That's something to bear in mind. So what if I took on c4 here? Am I getting into big trouble? I can play king b8. The word knight b6 to keep the pin. There's still g3 though. What? No, I hit g3 first <laughs> to unpin. Uh, uh, g. Yeah, I I lost the plot totally. I think there's g3. Let's have a quick look. This. Mm, I thought there was. I was, thought there was going to be much more than what happened. What happened here? Bishop takes immediately. It says it's about equal. This is a winning move. My FD2 is given as a winning move. <laughs> it's a winning move. Uh, so Bishop F3. All right, on Queen D3, which I didn't even see, there's Knight takes. I think my the point is my King is not very safe. <gasps> yeah, the King's not very safe at all. And then the game continuation. I think I'm just in trouble with. Well, either g3 or bishop takes c6, or even b3. 
uh, that just protects the Queen oh that's white slightly better so the two key moves well there's one key move is this and then check and that's gonna be winning the Queen anyway like you know like this and the Queen potentially but there's also as I mentioned I think there's just g3 and then Knight takes d2 later so this is all gone self from earlier <laughs> okay that backfired for me and uh, okay try con <clears throat> let's play uh, this tango thing So this is a trendy move I saw. Well, trendy. Well, I've seen, I've seen Mangus Carlson players check in some blitz tournament. I thought it was quite cute. This check, uh, rather than the standard bog standard bishop c5. Seems okay this position for me so far. I seem to have an imminent C five possibility. Knight C4 any good? Or Rook D8? Maybe. Um, is there a problem with Knight C4? It was Queen D5 hitting the Bishop and the Knight, so maybe Rook D8 safer. Oh no, knight c4 I'm hitting the bishop. I'm losing the plot here. Why why didn't I play knight c4? Okay. Knight c4 is still possible here. Or just get rid of the bishop here. Knight c4 Knight c4. Still playing knight. Is that a area of loose pieces, but knight c4 seems plausible. Okay, that seems okay. Queen on a light square or not? Maybe d6 is better. d6? Maybe d6 is better. <clears throat> oh, now this bishop takes g7 is a concern I guess so queen c6 is that reasonable Knight d6 to f5 looks reasonable. Trying to exploit the um, weaknesses soon. In fact, knight takes would be threatened. Winning material. Knight f5 looks like a 
juicy idea. Knight f5. Still play here. Huh? Why does he want to go in this horrendous pin? I wonder. Knight takes queen c5. Gives me a chance for rookie eight and back row is kind of potentially vulnerable. B4, there's rook takes d4 for rook takes d1. I've got an escape square for my king. Rook takes d4, queen takes d4, rookie one check, king f2. All right, I guess I have to play it anyway. Was it is two rooks for the queen? Maybe maybe he's got a point here. I, I I would doubt it. Two rooks would seem good here. Okay, uh, so queen e5, the rookie four take there. So queen e5 here. Hmm. I dent the pawn structure with c5. I'm trying to isolate a pawn here and there. Uh, c5. But there's also okay. So c5. There's rook e4. Well, there's queen a1 check. Okay, so c5 is plausible. Try and dent the pawn structure. Reignite the pin. Well, taking on b4, surely. Queen d7 is queen e1. It's not really going to have queen e3. Maybe it's nothing. Is there queen a1? All right, I'll go with this. Queen d7, okay. There's queen e3. I'm first to check. Does it actually do anything? There's b6. Yeah, my queen's more central at the moment. Weaknesses, undouble. Draws a fair result. And I doesn't want to draw. Okay. Oh well. Uh, I'll offer a draw. Nope. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. My queen's still more central. It's got weaknesses. Uh, still more central. No, I don't want the checks. Uh, okay. Um, I don't really want anyone to lose this, particularly. Uh, especially me. <laughs> uh, uh, draw here. It looks like a perpetual check to me. 
I'm going to force a draw. I don't like losing the last game of session. <laughs> All right. Did I have anything? Uh, if we go back. Hmm. It seemed to be equal there at that point. So this, I thought I was comfortable. I thought this was exciting for a moment, but apparently it's not. Because it's apparently it's equal. Okay, equal. Mostly equal. It's um, um, no, anything exciting that was missed. Doubt it. It it should it looks about equal, doesn't it? I think yeah. Okay. Um. Right. Yeah. Uh. Remember the uh, discount code Kings Crusher, fifteen percent off. You can challenge any streamers. You just turn up 15, 20 minutes beforehand. Goes onto a challenge list. Then we pick off the challenges later. So yeah, voucher code Kings Crusher, Kings plural. All right. Um. Yep. Thanks for the games. Have a nice Sunday. Have a nice week. Uh. See you next time. Thanks very much.